Hello guys, good evening. So welcome back to our channel. And for the past week, we are so very busy. So we have not uploaded a new video yet. So in this in this uh, video, I am just going to show you a simple a uh, simple functionality that is added to our uh, my task library for common standardization of uh, common function, common utility for other developers to use. So we have here the encryption decryption. So actually, uh, there are lots of ways how to do it. But what I'm showing you is just, uh, yeah, uh, this is the project. So I have here an XML. So I just have the security key to be part of the encryption. Right, so as you can see, this is an XML file, and then have created a class or uh, encrypt decrypt service. So I am using advanced encryption standard algorithm. That is the ES E E S E A E S. So don't mind my pronunciation. So uh, actually, this is already built in class in our C sharp. Or yeah, Caesar frame, that framework. So as you can see, it's an abstract class. It's implement the advanced encryption standard. So that is AES. Uh, that's what we are using. So uh, here, just going to create it, and then our AES key. We pass the key. So uh, yeah, I have a function here to get the key from the XML. So that's what I'm trying to do. So basically, I will read the security key that XML. So that is the one that I define here, where you get the key here. That's defined, okay. And then of course, if the file is not found in the root directory where you use this DLL, so it will throw an exception. Cannot found that file name is not found, and it's found. So we are just going to read it and get the value that we just put security key so same as usual we are using xml document to read the xml file so after reading it so we get already the, the key so and then this also what we call this is already you can search for more information in the microsoft documentation so this one is initialization vector so it's part of how the encryption and everything is done okay so our encryptor we just create the encryptor so it's already built in classes uh, we are just going to use it passing the key and uh, uh victor initialization victor and then we just uh have a memory stream and the crypto stream also passing the memory stream of crypto and the crypto mode is right so we're writing then and we use the stream writer from the crypto stream and then that's the text then we return the uh in this variable with re and then we convert it to b64 re and that is now our encryption so we try to so log if how it is being done so since this is a dll class library or a class library to test it we have to use or create a uh, unit test so i have here a unit test so this is the class for the unit test so for example i have a variable test and this is the the value that i am going to encrypt okay and also i already uh, decrypt there so after it's encrypted you can also decrypt it so our, our decryption is basically the same uh, we are using is yes, uh, advanced. So first we are going converting to bus 64 the text that we are going to read. Then advanced encryption so it's standard. So that's it. And this part to just create decryptor instead of create encryptor. So it's already built in classes by the .NET framework. So not nothing to worry about it. Okay, so that's very simple. So you can encrypt and decrypt. Okay, so we need to test it, it how it's work. I have to uh, run my test explorer and then I will go to the unit is security. 
and I have to right click this and debug. So it's raining here, so you can see the rain. Okay, so we're debugging now. So you don't know this function. So we don't we pass the variable is in the loss of in the info. So let's see how it is being encrypted. So we have streamline, so the pixels are here. Okay. And then yeah. So this is now the encrypted key. So from Edwin the loss of twenty two data is now you can see that it's very difficult to read that. Well first we have the quick for that so I'm just going to go here. So this is the encrypted key that we are going to decrypt to go back to the normal so normal key it should be Edwin the loss of twenty two data. Alright, so as you can see it's now Edwin the loss of twenty two. So in my case, I just um, assert if r equal this the variable up and the decrypted x is the same. And it is the same then that this is plus. So first it's plus. Yeah, so that's, that's a simple encryption, decryption, and also how to unit test it to make it uh, this is a bit working and I'm using in this case. Although you can also use other test uh, program or test utility like uh, X unit. Okay, there are lots of open source for testing like that. Alright guys, it's raining so this is just a short video. So hopefully this week we can upload more video. Uh, stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you will be notified for our upcoming videos. So happy learning guys. Bye bye.